Danger Dolan. From three-dimensional water phoenixes to underground Santa chambers in the middle of the street, we count 20 seriously awesome street art ever created by massively talented people. Number 20. Santa's Grotto. This one was created by Julian Beaver, the veteran 3D street painter, in December last year. It depicts an underground cave with Santa and his elves hard at work building presents. Today it lies in Camberley, United Kingdom, and it only took him a total of four days to complete. Number 19. Ronzo. This one is part of a series of birds randomly placed in London's Brick Lane as well as council estates by independent artist Ronzo, the Vandal Extraordinaire. They're meant to contrast the bland, mundane environments around them. Gangster birds wearing bling and filled with colour in a grey street. Number 18. The Shopping Mall Waterfall. This one was created by German artist Edgar Muller in Shanghai 2009. In total, the Blue Waterfall extends in a massive 300 square meter diameter, corded off by gates. And the reason it was made was to promote Shanghai's 2010 World Expo, happening one year afterwards. Number 17. Phoenix. This one is also by Edgar Muller, a giant flying water phoenix flying up from a rocky pool in Michigan, USA. It was originally created for the City Art Gallery mid-2011 and drew crowds from all over the world to pose for photographs and the like. Number 16. Fallen Soldiers, a publicly collaborative effort headed by British artists Jamie Wardley and Andy Moss to honour International Peace Day. They were joined by over 50 volunteers and 500 locals to rake and stencil in body lines on the beaches of Normandy. They only lasted a few hours before the tide rolled in and washed them all away, but they managed to create 9,000 bodies. Number 15. Mako's One Impression, created by artist Qi Jing Yao outside a shopping center in Macau. It's a giant piece of optical illusion art spanning 120 meters in length. The artwork depicts absolutely all of the city's historical and architectural landmarks all squished together in one long painting. Number 14. The Lego Terracotta Army. Before the Sarasota Chalk Festival in November 2011, a mysterious giant Lego man washed up on the beach. It was in fact publicity generated to hype up this Lego illustration created by Planet Street Painting inspired by the official terracotta war army from the first emperor of china and this lego recreation ended up winning best 3d piece of the festival number 13 a thousand shadows these were painted in an abandoned psychiatric hospital in parma italy they were done by brazilian street artist herbert baglione famous for his work painting empty abandoned rooms and deserted homes in sao paulo and paris can't imagine how creepy this would be if you just stumbled in here, not realizing it was done by an artist. Number 12. The Screaming Blue Man. The TSF crew, a French street art duo, tend to create optical illusion, logic-defying works of art. And this was made in one of the rundown areas of industrial France. You can clearly see their logo near the bottom right. It's reminiscent of Australia's Lunar Park, but way more intense and surreal. Number 11. The Reebok CrossFit. This one comes from Joe Hill, who, at the time, broke the Guinness World Record for the largest anamorphic picture in the world. Unfortunately broken by Qi Jing Hao not one month later, the CrossFit was created at the London Docklands and took a week to create, coming out at a whopping 106.5 meters in length. Number 10. Pixel Poor 2.0. Kelly Gola, a former animation producer for advertising, television, music video, and film, decided to take to the streets of New York to try out some street pixel art. This piece, titled Pixel Poor 2.0, is on Mercer Street, directly in the path of those heading for work, and thus has worked up a bit of fame. Number 9. Special Delivery, created by Melanie Stimmel in Milton Keynes, UK, for the Fringe MK Festival 2011. Curiously, she was the only US-based participant chosen simply to show off her outstanding style of Renaissance art, as well as her quirky designs which you can see here. Number 8. Pavel Puhov, based in Moscow. The identity of this artist remains unknown, and he tends to leave art with a political stance, usually in full view of the public, like at train stations. Most of his work contains images of riot police, civilian protesters, and a crazy reimagining of a National Geographic Afghan girl photo. Number 7. Pac-Man. Leon Kia, a Dutch artist, designed this one. A homage to the old 1980s arcade game. 
You can find it in the Netherlands, and it's only viewable from a perspective, a 3D one that takes the traditional 2D game area of Pac-Man, adding a new dimension and detail. Definitely a must see. Number 6. Wonderful Life. This was made by Street Advertising Services, a hundred square meters of 3D art in London, including a floor piece depicting shadows. Curiously enough, this was actually the world's first photorealistic 3D graffiti since the SAS managed to complete the entire thing with aerosol paint instead of the traditional styles used by other artists. Number 5. Mademoiselle Maurice. 2013, the Artac Festival in Angers, France. French artist Mademoiselle Maurice, alongside hundreds of volunteers, created this long image across a wall. At first glance, you might think it's a simple painting. But on closer inspection, you'll see it's actually made up of 30,000 pieces of origami half folded to make up two separate pieces of art, as you can see here. Maurice is renowned for her colorful, playful approach to street art. Number four, another Grand Canyon. Kurt Wenner, known as the 3D Chalk Master, created a portal into the new Grand Canyon. It took him 150 hours of hard work to complete, and he decided to paint it from the perspective of the canyon's southern rim. Today, it's a well-known tourist photo opportunity, just like the real Grand Canyon. Number three, Visit Britain, a Chinese illustration by British artist Joe Hill to promote the United Kingdom's landmarks. He's been known to tour the world creating similar 3D images, but this one is very elaborate, painted on two walls and a huge patch of floor. Number two, one, Chinese artist D.A. Least has a distinctive technique of 3D street art, which he now displays all over the world. His artwork depicts twisted metal animals interacting with our world, and in this example you can see two deer bound together by a cord of light, representing the bond between two animals. Number 1. In Terezny Kazaki. Our last example of street art comes from the Ukrainian duo AEC and Weon, the In Terezny Kazaki duo, who usually create vibrant art including sci-fi, Mexican folk tales, classical and religious art. They usually use acrylic paint with rollers, but they can also use spray cans from time to time. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one. Fallen Soldiers, a publicly...